towards his goalie ball over the top into that space in there and the defence line always a difficult thing to deal with. Dangerous goal made in there for the goal. On the floor, won the ball, didn't have to play it out. It's a hack hole that eventually won him the throw. Ryan Woodbine with the throw. Incidentally, the younger brother of the former record boy, Brian Woodbine, actually lists O'Brien as his favorite player. Well, that's the big brother's influence on the younger brother. He also lists David Beckham as well, so. A good set of men, of, of persons that he looks up to. Uh, his brother, Brian Woodbine, also represented full technical, so just continuing the family tradition. That's Captain Silver now with a long ball forward, the kick for me too. And uh, Scott McClellan ain't away on that occasion. His other brother, Clifton Woodbine, also. Played at this level for St. Elizabeth Technical. Incidentally, around that period, Renoria Downswell was at St. Elizabeth Technical, so now he gets an opportunity to coach a couple of the Woodbine brothers. There is Woodbine now, just well, but just a little bit too much on it. Not able to find Javon Smith, who was hoping that one would have fallen favorably for him. So the Kingston College team looking to break pretty early. You mentioned earlier that the form tends to commit players forward. If they so do at any occasion, Kingston College is looking to take advantage of that on the break. So what? and college is well equipped to deal with it. They're two century defenders, tall players along with their wing backs. So 
Charles Buckland from Kingston College. Push behind with the throw, Smith. Wins another one. This time, Mitchell. Eventually leaves it for Woodbine. Through. Mario Burge is unable to keep the ball on the field of play. And despite quality in the team, so that Kinson College showed it off in terms of their many changes, sometimes that prevents the team from settling quite early. If they're not being regular players. Blair hands it back in danger land. Enough men back for him to deal with it. Still more work to be done though. McLeod. We're looking for Blair wide. He might give a second shot at it, but a timely challenge comes in from Clifton Southern. First period with the steam pressure coming from Kingston College. I mean they have had their moments in the game, but this is the first period of anything sustained. Clear. Teasing cross. Gotten did well to get off ahead of there. He's always under pressure. And then it was a team leader. Kingston College number seven scored in the Manny Cup decider last year. Just one goal this season, Michael added, so we'd love to add another this afternoon. Foon now. Johnson turns it right and they're on their way. on the left and another free kick coming up for through technical Javon Smith the 18 year old who transferred from Belmont Academy putting his team a free kick there he is Javon Smith just his third start of the season so he Hasn't been a regular starter for the full technical unit. It's a big match to start in this one. Definitely a big one. Not how much bigger than this for them this season. The only competition they're in. Justin Mahabir, the number four, is there. He looks most poised to take this. So is Mitu. That was ambitious, wasn't it? And when you scored 19 goals in the season, definitely your confidence is going to be very high. So it's a very thin line between confidence and arrogance. But he showed confidence there, he wanted to go for goal from that distance. Run. 
just three players who have scored in this full technical starting lineup. Mitchell, of course, leads the way with 19 goals. Devin Johnson, their number 11, has scored four. And Clifton Sullivan has won. reliance on those three players for form if they're gonna get something out of this one they will feel without a doubt Mitchell needs that set of players that they'll be looking towards to get them any goals today. No seeker stone in the squad. He would have netted seven times for them this season so they may well miss him this afternoon as Ajay Stewart trying to get on to the end of that one. I suspect that might be down to an injury you wouldn't in a game like this you definitely want to have when you don't have goals coming from all over the park and a player with seven goals definitely would be in this setup. No goals yet in this one. Player for KC has already caused some problems on this right side. Two, three, four arriving inside the box, but the cross leaves a lot to be desired. This had the opportunity to cause no problem, but that type of cross was never going to trouble anyone for this full team. But most definitely we see that Kingston College sees mode of attack. It's getting the ball out wide and trying to get in behind the defensive line of this full team. Approaching 25 minutes in this one, Lola Bernard will be thinking he should have had the opening goal from Tyrese Williams. I think after a fairly few chances, which we've not seen much in the last 10 minutes of three. Casey putting neat boxes together here. They advance dangerously with the final box searching for Williams. Has too much weight on it. Williams was trapped all the way by two central defenders that stayed back for Poon. So they were ever going to have it easy with that ball played inside. They have a solid history of food technical. Now Williams for KC, another chance. Tries it straight at the goalkeeper. Not good execution of that shot there. We've got Paul behind it, Williams. But definitely, we fractured a hope in this body. Look to place that one in the far corner. A lot of pressure on Tyrese Williams today with Dwayne Atkinson and Ronaldo Robinson not in the starting lineup. A couple of opportunities for him so far, and he's not yet been able to convert. But he's still a young master, just 16 years old, it's just his first season. And this will be a great test for him, no doubt. He most definitely has the quality, he has nine goals so far this season, so he can score. This is a taste of what it feels like to be the lead man up front. And I suspect what is to come, things are going to have to come next season for him. Williams, a fine track and field athlete for KC. Now, Michael Allen with 
the pause. For the most part, kids have got any dominating possession, dictating the pace and the tempo of this one. Would find the searching board up front, asking Devin Johnson to run onto it and hopefully put some pressure on David Martin in goal. Martin, though, alert to whatever danger might have been there from that back pass. He did want to use in his, his left foot to clear that one, not using the right to try and kick the ball going across his body. I'm sure he got good touches on that clearance. Still making it a little bit more difficult for Kingsdale College going forward. They did a much better job of stopping them in midfield. Coach Dondo did say that he expected that it's that's where he's going to have any chance of winning the game if he can be robust and physical in the middle of the park. Making it more difficult for the KC players to spread the ball wide and get the crosses in. No, it's true. Spreading it wide and getting a good cross in. Johnson couldn't get anything onto it and then Tavani McIntyre arriving could not get there. Before goalkeeper David Martin. Martin is an alert goalkeeper. He, it's always in tune with the game, and so he will leave his line at the right time. Please, the keeper sweeper role. Fool has given as much as they've gotten so far in this game. Not overrun by this Kingston College team. Good point with the throw. This time it will go Casey's way. one of the, the better performances for it's only three times this season that they've given up more than a single goal in a game in one of their 14 games played so definitely a decent team that was a really good victory for them against Camperdown last week it's a good yeah they're always difficult and, and that game was even more difficult for Camperdown than the fact that it was played at the full complex Always difficult to get by down at that complex. the assistant in the right position. Cornell College boys 
inside the Capitol Stadium getting ready for their fixture later on against St. George's College. I repeat on last year's semi final that they won. What will happen this year? I don't need to run. Should be a cracker. Should we want to make history come to college and defending this title for the first time by any school board team? No team has won this All Ireland knockout more than once. Corner kick. see some better quality from the set pieces from home today as I said good opportunity for them to get the better of Kingston College with the set pieces you know two defenders for Kingston College so job in terms of breaking up the attacks from Kingston College. We want to start them quickly, but from not having any of that and really the coach Dons were lamenting about in his pre-game interview, it's really getting him to do it. trying to open his body and place it in that four corner. Didn't miss by much. So it does well at the back once more for full technical. KC just plucking away. They have got the opportunities. A couple falling to Tyrese Williams. Blair now with a little bit of space. Oh, decides to cut inside. Sajar Blair slips it through. Smith is alert. On spot. Captain Gardner. Ball kicks the ball away at the back. Gets some assistance, and now Kingston College can go away with Lewis Watson. Oh, his boss is cut off. Through attacking with Marbeer. His cross charged up by Captain Gardner. The Cornwall College transfer to Kingston College knows a thing or two about these parts of the land. He's a player that. It was red carded in Kingston College's game against Garvin Messier in the first round of this Champions Cup at the National Stadium. We may want to stay in the park for the full 90 today. Gardner. Yeah. Kingston College have been so good defensively this season. been recorded in a joint which starts with the best defensive record in all of school boys football this season. They have a few quality goalkeepers as well. Not just one in the unit. They can turn to any of them at any given time. Not the ball chipped over the top. They won't commit too many men forward from technical. 
you haven't noticed that in the first 36 and a half minutes then now Blair decides to cut it up to the left foot Blair goes down and the referee plays play on Blair but quite rightly so I think Blair was basically looking for something there Until he runs out of real estate. That's fabulous defending. That's pro defending there. We, we just saw from McCarthy. It was just so often you see players heading towards the goal line, not threatening, and defenders still want to dive in and win the ball. Just allow the woodbine there to do his own step over his own push and stop starts and just shepherd him out of place. A young defender than Mario McCarthy, but intelligent defending on that occasion. Now KC going forward with Ajay Stewart. Oh, Stewart does very well, and then the cross was not very good. He had done so well, Ajay Stewart, to get into a fine position. Could have gone for the shot, decided to go for the cross, but just way too much on it. New Phillips, he runs there, just got excited, he got away from two defenders, just needed to serve it up, right in that danger area, just too much on it. Jay Stewart came from Monroe College a couple of seasons ago, operating in his last season of the schoolboy football, and what an impact he could have made just there. Nice player. He sure he'd want to win this one in his last season. Let's see what Michael Allen. Men behind the ball as usual for food technical. And in goes tearing forward. The challenge comes in. And the referee Nemhart says that's a free kick. On the left side of the home defensive uh, 18 yard box here there. This is set up for Celia so right foot to curl it in for a corner. It's a little of the ball, but both legs trapped in the attacker. And from behind. Always going to be a free kick. Just a lap here. Committing the infringement and another opportunity here for Kingston College. 
to take control of this game in Montego Bay. Well struck, very well struck. The ball does its job, and Christopher Pearson is denied. Well, not actually the wall, brilliant. Was, it's one Dixon there who had a firm right foot and blocked that one. I think that one would have certainly had the attention of Andrea Smith in goal for home. Great like work by Dixon. Here's the corner kick now for Casey Tatro. They're coming in. Matthew shuts it down. And the, the goalkeeper then cleans up. And it was their first corner kick. It most resulted in a goal. Approaching half time in this one. Fireworks really. QC probing, getting the opportunities, not putting them away. Through doing as best as they can to keep them at bay. Now first player down for this game. So Smith. Down for full technical. A young man feeling the effects maybe of what looks to be a, a knee problem. Has been key for them this season. Has played every single match for the full technical team. So they will want him on the park. There is Garth Gale, the Kingston College has the General Secretary of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association and also Principal of Shawnemont. Of course, they had an unfortunate scenario to deal with that left them out of the competition by a boardroom decision. After it was alleged they used an ineligible player. He just moved on to the Fort Morgan, supporting Kingston College. Well, that's where he went. Why not? Strong technical. With a long ball, this time too long. Comfortable for David Martin. Finding it really difficult to get behind the Kingston College defense. KC really calm at the back. Now, this is Christopher Pearson. Pearson with that neat ball forward. Then that ball not so neat, easily cut out. But they quickly win possession, KC. And now, Michael Allen. Oh, Allen throws it forward. The goalkeeper comes, finds himself in a spot of all the wood finders, clean things up at the back. And with two minutes of time to be added, Kingston College starts it on the front foot. There was a mix up there between goalkeeper and pitcher or Dixon. Uh, lack of communication you'd want to feel. Dixon just taking charge of the situation. With the long throw, Summon with the clearance. Comes on to McCarthy. Long ball. Searching for. Yeah, I think it was, but no luck. Definitely will have some work to do in the half time. I think he would have expected that we would have been ahead in this one already, Coach Bernard. But may need to call on some of his more fancied players that he has sitting on the bench. The few supporters will not be too disappointed at this stage. Here is Mitchell for Johnson. Johnson back inside, cleared by Demario McCarthy. Can 
Lawrence that Collins started on the attack in added time. And it looks as if it will be full technical who will finish on the front foot. Goal kick KC. Fast, high pace game. We've come to expect from the Kingston College. Referee Nemhar the Prince. And end to the first stanza of this ISA Champions Cup quarterfinal encounter. Kingston College Prince. They had opportunities. They tested this man on a couple of occasions. This man and a couple of opportunities. Tyrese Williams, which he could not convert. And Aurea Donswell will be pleased with his team's first off performance. While London Bernard is still hoping he will not have to go to his strong cards in the second half of this encounter. After 45 minutes, it's full technical nil, Kingston College nil. In quarterfinal, it's a Champions Cup action from the Captain O Stadium in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Okay, so I am with Jason Henry, assistant coach at Kingston College. Um, do you believe your team is playing some cautious football this afternoon? Uh, no, it's not really cautious. I think the team is just, um, uh, I think they're just thinking, uh, we are not playing with some of our most experienced players. We're trying to get them from us, get some more in general, you know, when it's been on Tuesday. Now, you know, Raymond Watson would normally tell me what's going to happen Time. Are you going to spill the beans? No, I'm not. I'm going to tell you this. There's going to be a better second half, more intense, more pace to the game. Thank you. No problem. Coach Henry Bear of Kingston College. Joining me now is Tristan Somerville of Room Technical High School. Tristan, how would you sum up Room's first half performance? Well, I think it was a pretty um, even second first half, but the second half will be much better. Yeah, uh, why will it be so much better? What can you tell us? What will you, the halftime talk be or any changes going to be made? What's going to happen? All right, well, if you see first half, we want to use one striker because we want to sit back and see what they offer. So second half will be a different formation. So hopefully they come out and execute very well. No, thank you for that information, Tristan. You're welcome, Sean. Tristan Somerville, they're telling us that come second half, they will change formation and use possibly two strikers. We're going to take a break when we return. We have first half highlights as well as statistics, and I'll be in the stand. Mm -hmm. Put some more men forward in this second half, and they're looking to go and attack more. We do hope that they're more in, in touch with what is going on on the park in the second half for players because in some of their supporters were not so into it as they wasn't sure of whether or not they were still at this game asking which scoreline they were being asked by Shoana. Well, they certainly had confidence. One female said 5-0 the final score. I wonder who that will be in favor of. It's Ben Martin sporting the number one jersey, the Kingston College goalkeeper. Just 16 years old and has a few years left in this competition as we get the second half going. Kingston College will be looking for a bright start here as they hope to break through. We're definitely looking for a brighter second half. If those score lines are five or two, one of them that were predicted by the fans in the stands. And the water have to be, but definitely this game can take a, could take a goal here to lighten things up. It certainly could. Luckily, he got some distance on that clearance going between the advertising board. So could have been caught up with a quick throwing. It was very deliberate to do that, though. Intelligent stuff again. For the first time, we've seen that from a KC defender this afternoon. Coming in from 
Smith. Moore and Green to get on the end of it. No love here. Long walk. Stepped in, but he's in the down to it by Martin. You can see the intention in the second half already showing itself. Mm. There for goalkeeper Agro Smith. He's getting that clearance away from his defender. We've seen those situations where hit the defender and rebound into goal. It's a kick that could use a goal early in the second half. It's not for a lack of trying, but we haven't seen one. Lewis Watson goes forward for KC. Nice diagonal ball. Picking out AJ Stewart. Stewart leaves it for Allen. Allen gets inside the box. Gets away from his marker. Gets across inside. And the Smith makes it look easy in collecting on that occasion. Good play there from Kingston Collins. Good drop, drop pass from Stewart into the path of Allen. And he managed to get the right side of the defender. In the absence of Atkinson and Robinson and Morrison, the likes of Michael Allen must step up for Kingston College here. Remember, scored in the Manning Cup final last year. The experience is there, no doubt. The quality is there too. And the moment is right for any of these boys in purple to create something magical. King Norman Sewers tour here. We see whom midfield is really putting Kingston College under pressure, not allowing them to pass it around in the middle of their park. And the boy, Tavani McIntyre. But Tyrese Williams wins it unfairly, so says referee Nemhard. Taking an attack with Brian Woodbine. And of course we'll have a and a shove on him as well. And then it's put off by the shot. Kevin leaves it for his goalkeeper. And I think he might have gotten a touch. Looks in a little pain. That's more than a touch. He's uh, his own player, but caused by the unrushing attacker from Fulham. Fulham on the attack. Just over dribbling the football here. Pots is limited. And a free kick one. Now, there's a chest of mob here, tumbles to the turf. And Tyrese Williams there, second foul in succession. Free kick again, not very good. They haven't been good from those dead ball situations today, full technical, and they've needed to be because. They haven't created much from open play. Here's a cross coming in. Too close to Martin, who does well. Kixi rush down the other end with Williams. And when it goes, Foon's way. And we're going to see a lot of that continue from Kingston College, who's quick serving out from the back, try and catch this Foon team who it suggested that come this second half they're going to commit a little bit more going forward. Actually goes KC's way. Blair with the throw. Peterson putting real pressure on. Woodbine. Now he gets help. Pearson. And Woodbine does really well to win a steam a throw. Was under pressure all the time. And also, Pearson, I think, did well. So often you've seen defenders protecting the ball in that area, and the attacker just put too much 
Tins and pressure on him or shot the defender. Keith Pearson did well. Shots out of midfield, so difficult to find, and so inevitably they go for the long ball, and inevitably they lose possession. Kicks his stone forward with Ajay Stewart, cuts it back inside. Allen now, oh, can't get around Fitzroy Dixon. He's had a couple of timely interventions in this game. Fitzroy Dixon. Most crucial one coming from that free kick that he stuck up the right boot as Lunder Bernard warms up a few from the bench. And it's the three big men Atkinson, Robinson, and Morrison. Maybe he's feeling now that he needs them in this game. He very well would need them, we just saw an example of what. Full technical is doing earlier. The J Stewart got the ball and we saw four green shirts around him. And uh, those four green shirts eventually worked to dispossess Kingston College. And in now for KC. McCarthy plays it forward. They have left. That special touch that the three men on the bench have often provided this season. Including in that game against Gotham I see last week, they weren't always brilliant as a team, but they were individuals who stepped up at different times of the contest. Always oh, going to be difficult to replace those three players at once and still get the potency up front. The chances just not converted. Michael Allen again. The last you think, you think of Morrison, Atkins, and Robbins was on the park. One of those chances might have gone in. Oh, AJ Stewart did well there and won the ball for KC. But they lose it. Lewis Watson back into the middle of the park. Now with Pearson. Pearson goes from distance. Pearson goes wide. Did a fine job of hitting the power aid sign. But it really wasn't a power shot. Not an effective one at least. Back in power and, and direction as well. Nowhere near the target he was aiming for. Maybe he needs a power aid. Smith, Mitu, McIntyre, another attack coming to nothing for Food Technical. And as we saw in the stats, they have not registered a shot on target. And in the 56th minute of play, Food Technical. Managed to stay in the game, but Definitely have not troubled Kingston College enough. What else? Knee turn. Good pass as well. Picks out Blair. So Sean Blair gets the cross in. Michael Allen was getting ready for a flamboyant attempt at goal. That this one is a scoop up to the keeper who makes it look easy. Calvin Gardner with what he may consider to a bit of shot. Way out of his normal zone, and so might have been better served to pass that on to Jay Stewart who was waiting inside for a pass. Pops is kept in. Full technical with space and men inside the box. Short for penalty there in handball. 
on the front of the front of the A rare occasion when they have gotten inside the Kingston College penalty area with numbers, but they couldn't make it count on that occasion. They were testing that one mm -hmm. in their hand that would have caused them not to have made that one count. Mm -hmm. The referee did not see anything. Oh, he shows speed, he shows scale, he shows 
Kingston College don't necessarily give up points in winning positions. That's the other thing, so the percentages are, are really against him. That being said, they did lead 1 0 against Wolverines and drew 1 1. <laughs> Here they are, Kingston College, this time in their defensive area. Through here's a substitute form, goes down under the challenge, free kick on this right hand side. Opportunity now for room to get back on level pegging because the defenders of the Kingston College team will have to back off although they're going to set themselves up in the in the penalty area but Froome has a good opportunity to do what they've done they if I rotate the phone it now I'll go be sideways I'll go like this I'll go be sideways right I don't know tell me In sensational fashion. I think both of us need a pat on the back when Adam <laughs> or, or a cool drink at the end of the, the encounter. Well, we did mention it. One, you said Wilmers did score, even though Kings were in a leading position previously. And here it is again, Mito knocking that ball there. And whether he meant it or not, the strike itself was good in terms of knocking that ball in the area. It went far across the goalkeeper was through. He could have done better. His defenders definitely got in the way. He was backtracking, but there was absolutely nothing he could do. That ball was knocked to the far post. Brilliant ball in the air for Mito. It curled into the into the net. And for me, to be honest, it's a deserved goal for them. I think they've, they've matched Kingston College for the most part in terms of their play and a level of intensity. 
It's just that the final third play has not come out for them, similar to Kingston College. It worked for Casey not too, too long ago, and here it is now. It's level te pegging. Woodbine would be much relieved now and see if his team now can get the go-ahead goal. It takes it back to 2002 World Cup. Ronaldina's goal against David Seaman for England. It was in similar vein. And Mitu will really accept the comparison. Renario Donesville in a position. Uh, may I keep it that way? Because uh, some people say it's sideways. Good defensive work for Kingston College. Before that free kick, I was just about to say that through technical, you get the feeling that their best chance will come from set pieces. I won't disagree with that, but just to add to that, I do believe that from open play, they've not been too bad either. The only issue that they've had is similar to Kingston College. They've just not done or executed properly in the final third. But I think they have good build-up play, they have quality players on the park, and they've been doing that, getting behind the defense of the Kingston College unit. But it's just not come out for them. Set piece though has worked for them. And they'll be extremely happy that um, they've gotten a the goal out of the out of the contest so far. They saw there is twentieth of the season. And Coach Lunda Bernard having given instructions to Dwayne Atkinson on entering the park. No gives instructions again to Dwayne Atkinson. But while Lunda Bernard speaks to only one player, Renario Donesville has a session with half of his team. Because probably that's the amount of players he will need to stop Dwayne Atkinson. <laughs> I was thinking something along that lines. I said, why is it this, is, what is speaking to one of you know, it's a, it's a combined effort that is needed by the through technical team as opposed to the, 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 to the force that is Dwayne Atkinson. Here's Morrison, slips this one through to Tyrese Williams. It's cut out by Saban, who I think has had a, a more than decent game. Well, the Froome technical team, their central defender. Here's Kingston uh, College again. Tyrese Williams again. It will be a throw-in. I'm actually loving this uh, and, and what I'm seeing, Renard, because the intensity has, uh, has stepped up, the urgency has stepped up by Kingston College and, and to some extent by Froome as well. Long throw in inside the box. It's a flick on by Allen Van Morrison. And in fact, it was Atkinson. Not sure if that was what Lunda <laughs> Bernard said to him. But that should have been 2-1. The, the reprieve that I will give him. I just want to see how close the defender was to him. Let's see. All right. What I was thinking was that he was not able to extend his, his foot as much as he wanted to outstretch it and wrap his foot around. But guess what? He did have an opportunity to, to, to get a better strike on target. Would it have been 2-1? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the goalkeeper could have come into play. But, for what it's worth, it was a very good opportunity to put this team a goal ahead. And, um, opportunities are presenting themselves, Renato. Yeah, the third son enters the park for yeah, Kingston that's College. That's uh, Ronaldo Robinson. Three substitutions. Atkinson, Morrison, Robinson. Here's Allen Morrison, that attacking midfield position. Scott McLeod seems as if he has slotted into that defensive midfield role. It's Casey on the right hand side. You know, if they were only a couple of minutes apart, do you think the reason why he didn't make the three subs at once was just because he didn't want it to look a certain way or, or something on the edge? I don't know. But it seems as if they. <laughs> They were just a couple of minutes apart of each other. Could have been a triple sub substitution. A triple substitution would probably send a, a signal of desperation. <laughs> Here's Smith. 
Oh, okay, so doing it, stag staggering it makes it a little, easy, a little better, right? <laughs> Could argue that I made two substitutions, they combined and it led to an own goal, but then you equalize, so I will make the third substitution to see if they can combine and we get another goal. Here's Robinson, predominantly left footed Ronaldo Robinson. Third son, as you call him. Here's Mito, ball played over the top. It's cut out by Gaffin, the captain for Kingston College, on the day that is. So Froome is trying to get opportunities to knock the ball. There we go. Yes, from technical again, it's cut out at the back. Calvin Gartner this time for KC. And a little under 18 minutes of regular time to go. Woodbine. At times, Froome is not waiting to utilize the midfielder, just trying to get the ball knocked over the top, try to get the Kingston College defenders turned. And ball inside again. Good defensive work. I think Morrison may have been in an offside position. I believe you're right. But both teams are employing that that tactic. Once someone gets on the ball, they're knocking that ball in and around the defenders, try to get them twisted and turned. Maybe one of them tripping and falling when they're trying to locate the ball, but something to get the play. Well, it's actually a corner. So it wasn't he was not offside. Please take a good touch off the defender. I thought that what's it referee's whistle came where that ball even went behind. Atkinson will take it towards the near post. It goes behind again. It's another corner kick. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better. You have to bypass the first first player. It's a card almost you say a cardinal save if you can't get the ball over the first. first and here Lunda Bernard saying, Come on, better than that. Here's Atkinson now. I get to the near post, and again it's cleared by Froon. Atkinson can't win back possession. Ball played forward. Oh, that was a, a poor touch from Devin Johnson. Morrison for Kingston College inside to Scott McLeod. Played it all the way back. Now it finds ball finds its way on the right hand side. St. J. Blair. It's a left footed effort. That's blocked by Fitzroy Dixon. Corner kick, Kingston College. McIntyre was actually calling his fellow attackers to come and support. What he's trying to do is say, listen, we cannot be sitting deep and, and absorbing so much pressure. If we do that and we stay on our lines, Kingston College is going to hurt us. So he was trying to get players to move up together to try to defend from the front and, and close the spaces or, 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 or you know, Stop this, this, this the balls being being played through easily and give Kingston College time on the ball. Didn't happen and they almost conceded there. So it's 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 a it's a real tactical battle and the players getting a little weary because they've been on the park for quite some time, but they're not giving up this full technical unit. A substitution about to be made. Harry's Rose comes on and Daniel Banton is Taking up how it is, Birches. There's a ball inside, it's headed up. That was close. So, to figure out how that was saved because <laughs> the goalkeeper was literally out of position in terms of his, his where he was situated when he tried to grab, grab that ball or, or punch that ball away. So, it's very fortunate that he didn't concede there. Long throw inside the box. It's flicked on. Allen goes up. Atkinson turns and goes for a strike. It's blocked. Ball downfield. Picked up here. It's set from technical through Devin Johnson. He's trying to roll it across to pick up Fabian Forbes. But his pass again was blocked. Scott McCord in the middle of the park has gone back to his defense. Took too long on the ball, Renard. I had a, a lot of time to release that pass to play out wide. Dwelled on the ball too much and got dispossessed. Really missed big missed opportunity for them, I think. Scott McLeod again for Kingston College was looking to play that one over the top. The top mix up at the back. So Ben clears downfield. They should be happy that 14 minutes to go. Sorry, Renard. They should be happy that no KC player was around them. They have to communicate. Time is ticking away, and. So they have to be very, very careful. 
So here is Froome. Ball on the left hand side. Froome technical with numbers forwards. Here's Forbes. A poor decision. Giovanni Mito for Froome. Across the area. Head square. It goes behind. Whistle. On the play. I can tell you something, Renato. If not for poor decision making, from technical would be in some serious business. I yes. think they've let themselves down because of some of the the, the, the decisions they've made, as we mentioned before. Dwelling on the ball sometimes a bit too much, and also some of the final play is not happening. Renato Robinson for Kingston College. All the way back in defense. Strong tackle from Demario McCarthy for KC. Morrison. Then to Robinson, dispossessed. Okay. Whistle on the play because Lars Watson is down for Kingston College. Some some strong tackles going in here, uh, Renato. This is not a game for the faint-hearted in terms of the, the, the players applying themselves, crunching tackles. Uh, from technical, not giving an inch to Kingston College, as I mentioned before, they're not afraid of them at all. But there it is. Just an extension of the arm here. And Watson. Be a free kick for Kingston College. If we had a mix up just a little, a, a little earlier, a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. It's a free kick inside. Heads go up. It's headed up by Froome. Here they are from technical. Devin Johnson dispossessed. Throw in for Kingston College. It's getting to that point now, isn't it? Devin Johnson is almost said the lone man up top. Um, one of the things though is that being by himself, he doesn't have the supporting cast in and around him. And so what happens is that he's been easily dispossessed. He's almost on an island by himself. And I think, I mean, I see what they're trying to do. They want to have an outlet. But they, because the they, they play, other players are so far away from him, it's not really a tactic that is working. So I think he needs another supporting attacker to help to take some of the pressure off of him, some of, some of the defenders that are around him. Maybe one less or, or so would be away from him. And so when he possesses the ball, he can have a, a, an outlet to pass the ball to someone. And the goalkeeper Smith is down. He's held on to the back of his right leg. And now his, his knees been iced. I saw him clutching the back of his leg, so I'm not sure. Maybe they, they, they know something I don't. No, the, the thing about it is that you tell players as a coach that one, and the players use it as a, a means to wind the clock down just to run time out as we look back at the goals first one unfortunate old goal for ryan woodbine Brilliant after save. 62 minutes yeah. he turned before he looked he, he was turning and this is the, the ball to to go out of play but took his eye off the ball and unfortunately but then a lovely play. goal if the first one was unfortunate the equalizer was just absolutely sublime Sorry, one unfortunate one deliberate good play there by mito who spotted the area he wanted to, to, to lay that ball in and it was perfectly executed. All the jumping that the defenders were making, they could not stop that ball from nestling in the back of the net. Brilliant equalizer. Kingston College with a corner kick now on that far side. Ronaldo Robinson will go over to take. And there are this one some towards the six yard box. Set it out. Should be a throw for KC on this near side. Do you think that it was a tactic by the goalkeeper of Froome or do you think that he really had a, a cramps at, at that point in time? Well, we will know in, will we? in a couple of minutes when it gets closer to the 90th minute. Oh, so to see if he does it again. All right. And if it will be the same leg. <laughs> Maybe maybe he's, he, maybe he's smart enough to know that if it, if it is that he's faking it, persons like you will be looking on, so he'll grab the other leg. 
It is a, a, a pretty intense game though. And if you know anything about the Montego Bay Sports Complex, it generally has heavy underfooting. Yeah. Makes it difficult for these players. The ball played over the top. Kicks the college on the attack again, but here's Woodbine puts it out for it. Throw it for KC. He's not going to allow himself to get in any trouble when it comes to the back line at all, so he's going to clear. And here's Froome. Saban boots it downfield. Not try and be pretty, Saban. Just effective. Watson in the middle of the park. The McCarty. No to Gardner. Ball inside. Smith comes and collects for Froome. And will stay down for a couple of seconds. The referee will soon tell him that no matter how long you stay down, he will only add the time back on. When he was done, he was surveying almost like a, a, a prairie dog, surveying his surroundings to make sure there was no any. It was ball over the top, and then it's rolled up across the 18 yard area but take straight to David Martin from technical committing some more bodies forward it spells danger for Kingston College can spell danger for kick for, for Froome as well if they leave spaces at the back as, as we mentioned at the start of the game or for in the first half so I mean they're taking a, a, a chance they, uh, they really have nothing to lose I guess you'd say so credit to them yes okay see again Wayward pass. And the referee says it's Casey's ball. It's a free kick. A challenge from behind. First son, I'll go by, by number, so number 10. First son is over the ball, Jamari Morrison. Let me give you an order. Folks, first son is Jamari Morrison, second son, Ronaldo Robinson, already number 11, and number 13, Dwayne Atkins in the third son. Here's the free kick, Morrison, over it, the Kingston College captain, it's hit well, but uh, not on the mark. I By know. the way, the last time we heard, Carndam College, they were still leading St. Andrew Technical by two goals to one. 87 minutes gone in that contest. CC still leading. Not too far away, probably a couple meters wide or, or feet wide, but, but no, feet is far. You know, it's a couple of inches wide. Um, but definitely a good strike there by Jamari Morrison. Um, taking opportunities once Kingston College leaves spaces out wide in terms of their, their, their defenders Froome is not afraid to attack down the, down, along the flanks and here's an opportunity now from a throwing so they, they can get some bodies in and around the penalty area I don't know if they, he has a long throw on him here's Froome Mito can just swing this one inside the box it must have curled out, I think. Yeah, went out and back in. Eighty-five and a half minutes gone. Which means another four minutes, some seconds to go of regular time. Would we not get a deciding goal? Will be penalties as Kingston College, Dwayne Atkinson again, Saban again, probably the player of the game so far, Saban. This one out for a throwing for KC. It's really played well, the number six for Froome, technical. As Kickson College again dispossessed. 
will be a throw in for Froome on the far side. And again, Froome Technical can win throw ins all the way down to the Kingston College goal. They would feel that they're really in for something. I was looking at that, I'm saying. There again, it's a <laughs> third one. Vincent will be just marching slowly down, methodically down that left hand side. Is this, is, is this going to be a, a super software goalkeeping position? A, a, a team crew for a citizen in the, in, the, in the World Cup, and also we've seen it. Yes, yeah, so from technical, they might not need him. A shot was a poor one. Still, Kingston College trying to clear their lines. Here's Froome. That one is blocked. It'll be a corner kick. Opportunity presents itself again for the Froome technical team. A lot of Bernard probably sweating profusely. This team could potentially go down a goal with just a couple minutes left. But they're but not they haven't committed a lot of persons forward, only three inside the box. Heads go up. Scott heads it up for Kingston College. Oh, good move here from Johnson. Johnson with a shot. Inches over the crossbar. Devin Johnson. For a moment there, saw his name in the stars. Good bit of work there, getting by. Scott McLeod with, with, with some ease took a shot from distance, just sailing over the top. We're now in minute 89. 88 and a half minutes gone. Still 1 1 between Kingston College and Froome Technical. Here's Ronaldo Robinson for Kingston College, fighting for possession. Goes down. And that's one Kingston College, a free kick. I thought the ball went out. Saw an infringement, and that's what he decided to call. But Kingston College has committed players forward. That's about six or so players. Morrison to launch this one inside the box. Let's go up. The goalkeeper, Smith, comes and punches. The flag had gone up on the far side. Into minute 90. Lord de Bernard knows that as well. Still 1-1. One, one. Now the players are going down. Is that from technical player down? Yeah, time. Be expected. McIntyre. Get medical attention. The ice applied to the knees. And his right knee. He's played pretty well. I'd have to say one of the better players on show today. Just at times has not gotten the requisite support that he's desired when they go forward. But he's had some good touches. In terms of his dribbling ability, he's been able to dribble past a few players, laid off some passes as well. Yep. But I believe that ultimately what they've tried to do in terms of the final third, which has been their key decision for them today as well as Kingston College, has just not come off. We've completed 90 minutes, four added. We've played 40 odd seconds. Those are four minutes. It's getting closer. Through technical with possession on the near side. It's given up now. Ronaldo Robinson for Kingston College. Ball chipped forward. Poor touch. Poor attempt to control that. And then it's booted out. Penalties. Anybody's game. 
And if Kingston College should go on to lose this game, questions may be asked of the decision not to start Ronaldo Robinson, Jamari Morrison, and Dwayne Atkinson. Oh boy. Here, here, here come the questions. Are they justified? I'm not quite sure because you did build the case, Renato, for not having them in the starting lineup to some extent. Um, so, should the players that are there, based on their the, the squad depth or the ability of the of the players overall, shouldn't they be able to get to get over, get beyond the team because he was like an underestimation by them to believe that they could they could yeah, get no, past get this team. I don't know. Me. I mean, I'm tired. So yeah, Kingston College, women. another substitution. Number 12 comes on. <laughs> Come on for penalty Probably now. for penalties, time will be up shortly. Penalty specialist. And now more substitutions. So clearly, penalties in mind. And at this rate, the time will be up. Just making substitutions. Number 14, Lars Watson comes out, will be replaced. Not Lars Watson, sorry, that's number 14, Birches. Replaced by the number 13, this is for Froome. Go and rest my right hand at the meantime. Oh, boy, me I'm tired. Kingston College, they've substituted their goalkeeper. And the number eight will also come in. For oh, Fool. Back time for all of them substitution. Both of whom I have no numbers for. Number eight. On the number 13. And we'll replace McIntyre. John, I'm a full on charge side. So play resumes. We played all four minutes, but minutes will be added. For the substitutions, we saw what five or four ball played over the top. We might not need penalties. Dwayne Atkinson for Kingston College. They're appealing for a penalty. What they will get is a corner kick, Kingston College. How oh, cool. Running numbers forward now, Kingston College. That's three, four, six, seven players. One of the line with the goalkeeper. And probably throw the goalkeeper into the mix as well. Here's the corner kick. It's swung to the back post. Heads go up. It's bound to the road. Oh, oh, it's there. Watch if Gavin has won it for Kingston College at the death. Whoa. It is the defender. Who has found himself in the box of from Technical. And in a flash, the North Street Bears team are in front. And you reckon they're in front for good. Well, I'm not quite sure if that's gonna is that gonna be the case, but it's very, very likely that that oh. could happen. Great bit of work, the ball knocked to the far post, headed down by Lars Watson. I almost went in it uh, by his header. Whoa. Came off the crossbar and came back out, and like a flash, Rajiv Gavin adjusted his body. Now that ball almost like an overhead to some extent, and that ball looped over the defender and anyone else that was in the way, and 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 just you know landed in the back of the net like a little droplet. And what a, a, a bit of play there by him and execution. And Froome has to come back now with mere, mere seconds to go, but exceptional work there by Casey to pull it out at the death almost. Box of a Lord for Kingston College. Oh. And it paid dividend. From Technical now trying to do the same with this free kick. 
the Akuma Pots and the 18 yard era of Kingston College. It's probably the last roll of the dice. Swung inside. No. Big left boot from Allen. Goes behind. It's a corner kick <laughs> for Froome Technical. Is this deja vu? New goalkeeper as well, Renato. So what is he Must calling be for? be nervous. Yeah. He's in for penalties. He didn't, he didn't bargain for this. <laughs> Here's a corner kick. Swap to the back post. It's headed back. It's at the 18 yard area. Still Froome technical with possession. Mito is there. Froome still with it. Will they get a shot off? No. The clearance goes from Kingston College. And that is it. That is it. Whoa. Kingston College, they're back into the semi-final of the ISA Champions Cup. And boy, they've done it in dramatic fashion. A ball in stoppage time. And Ryan Whitbine almost brought to tears because his own goal gave KC the lead. Giovanni Mito brought Froome back on level terms. But a overhead kick from the captain of the day, Captain Fantastic, Rajiv Gavin, has given Kingston College a spot in the last four of the ISA Champions Cup here at the Montego Bay Sports Complex in Captain Hall. What a match that was. Absolutely amazing. And uh, uh, probably a deserve it for Kingston College. Eat it out at the very end. Shows the championship medal. And we're able to, to, to get over the line. I feel very disappointed, but that's how it goes at times. Excellent game nonetheless. It was a fantastic game. A game filled with moments. And the first was in the 62nd minute. Link up between Atkinson and Morrison. And Woodbine. Oh, you wish you could wave a magic wand and disappear. <laughs> Kiss off of me like, like English, you know, when they have um, a pool. And, and the spin on that ball is touched off him and went to the net. Four minutes later, though. Giovanni Mito with this glorious free kick. Soft room at technical. Back level with Casey at 1 1. But in stoppage time, off the post. And a goal that KC will celebrate for the rest of the night. Excellent improvisation by the young man. Twelve shots in the game for Kingston College. Six on target. Five fouls as well. One offside. Seven corners. But for over four shots, two on target. Six fouls. Five corners. Two saves by their goalkeeper, who was also beaten twice. One time from his own player. 54% possession for KC. 46 for Froome Technical. And Kingston College with two goals. Froome Technical with one. That is how it ends here at the Montego Bay Sports Complex in this ISA Champions Cup quarterfinal. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Renardo Brown on behalf of O'Neill Campbell.